In this video, we will take a look at adding and subtracting rational expressions, which have unlike denominators. We will set it up by following the same pattern that is used to add fractions, such as 5 sixth plus 1 fourth. When adding fractions with different denominators, we know we must first identify the least common denominator, which in this case, 6 and 4, both go into 12. Once we've identified that common denominator, we'll multiply the 6 by the missing factor to make it the match the LCD. 6 times 2 is 12, and so we'll multiply by 2 in both the numerator and denominator. This gives us 10 twelfths. Plus, we'll do the same thing with the 4, multiplying by 3 in the numerator and denominator to give us 3 twelfths. We now have a matching denominator of 12, and simply need to add the numerators 10 plus 3 to get 13 twelfths for our final solution. We can use this pattern of identifying the LCD and building up both fractions in rational expressions, such as 7a over 3a squared b plus 4b over 6a b to the 4th. To get started, again, we must identify the least common denominator that we want to build up each fraction to match. 6 and 3 have a common denominator of 6. We also have factors of a and b represented in our denominators. To use exponents, we always attach the highest exponent on a is squared, and the highest exponent on b is to the 4th power. This is the denominator we want to build each up to match. The first fraction, the 3, needs to be multiplied by 2 to give us the 6. We already have a squared, but we need 3 more b's, or b cubed. We are multiplying by 2 b cubed in both the numerator and denominator, which will give us 14 a b cubed over the LCD of 6 a squared b to the 4th. Plus, on the second fraction, we already have the 6, we need another a, and we already have b to the 4th. We're simply multiplying by a in the numerator and denominator. This gives us 4ab over our common denominator of 6a squared b to the 4th. We are now ready to add these together, as they have a common denominator. This gives us 14ab cubed plus 4ab, they're not like terms, so they can't be combined, over 6a squared b to the 4th. We do like to check to see if they can factor to see if we can reduce. Notice the common factor of 2ab, leaving behind 7b squared plus 2 over the 6a squared b to the 4th. 2 and 6 can reduce, leaving 3, and 1a and 1b dividing out, leaving a to the 1st and b cubed. So we have our final answer of 7b squared plus 2 over 3ab cubed. Let's try a subtraction problem. This subtraction problem, 4 over 5a, minus 7b over 4a squared, we need the least common denominator of 4 and 5 to be 20, and with an a squared, using the highest exponent. This means 5a needs to be multiplied by 4a in the numerator and denominator, giving us 16a minus 20 over 20a squared, minus the 4 needs to be multiplied by 5, which gives us 35b over 20a squared. We can combine them together, they're not like terms, so we have 16a minus 35b over our common denominator of 20a squared. The numerator cannot factor, so it cannot be reduced. This is our final answer. When adding and subtracting with different denominators, we identify the LCD, and build up each fraction to have matching denominators. Reduce at the end if we can.